Hello, welcome into Elevate. My name is Tara. I'm here to do a weekend reading for the week of December 15th through the 17th, 2023. This weekend reading, I will be working with the Druid Crop Tarot deck. This is illustrated by Will uh, Warrington, and uh, the writing is by Phil and Stephanie Carr Gom. And uh, so I am going to start with the Sagittarius and then work through all of the zodiac signs. Welcome in, Sagittarius. A uh, happy birthday to you. Let's go ahead and I will shuffle the cards. We're going to take what's on the shuffle for the Sag, and then everybody else will be um, whatever I get, whatever card wants to uh, show up. So, what do we get on the split? The Lord. The Lord showing up here for our Sagittarius. Well, Sagittarius, with the Lord showing up, you are large and in charge, or somebody else is this weekend. This weekend's going to be about rules, regulations. I do see a bird in the sky. Could that be representative of the eagle? And eagle can be representative of many political uh, power. So uh, is there things going on worldly this weekend that uh, you feel govern you in some way, more so than a lot of weekends somehow being feeling governed uh, heavily by outside influences is what it feels like to me. Okay, uh, Sagittarius, let's move from you to Capricorn. Let's see what the cards want to talk about for our Capricorns. And um, what happened? I bring that down just a little bit like that. Can we see it? Okay, Capricorn. Let's um, see what card wants to um, show up. What card wants to flip over. There's several there. Can we just get, wow. Okay. Let's see what card. There's two of them down there. I will flip them over and just take the one on the top of the flip. Okay. Showing up for our Capricorns is this Prince of Cups passion coming forth here as the moon, this crescent moon showing up lighting up the sky we did have a new moon earlier in this week so uh, a new moon is dark and then light starts to come somebody prancing forward on their horse on their steed with love with passion and ready for some romance happening beautiful and mm, just so passionate my capricorns let's move on from our capricorn individuals and find out what's in the cards for aquarius for this weekend what wants to show up for our aquarius the fool showing up for aquarius this fool stepping out with no shoes on their feet, no shoes on their feet, Aquarius, and a companion by their side, a light load as they travel with uh, feeling the earth energy as they bound about, feeling the connection of the earth and allowing for the movement forward in a new endeavor, in a new way something like this for our Aquarius for this weekend. All right, Aquarius, thanks for joining me. Let's see what card comes up now for Pisces. What wants to be talked about for Pisces for this weekend? Okay, two cards also popping up. I'm gonna keep the one in hand here, the one that landed in hand. All these jumping cards. And uh, so this Six of Swords showing up for Pisces movement forward swiftly, maybe. Uh, three people in this boat, two being carried across. <clears throat> Watch out, make sure the boat uh, is solid. Make sure that it can hold everything. 
Because there's six swords and the swords are facing towards that boat, which could cause holes in the boat. And so this could be knowledge. This could be transportation. No, uh, this could be new equipment that's being brought forth, whatever it is in this boat, in this ship. <clears throat> you want smooth sailings, but uh, if all the points are in the boat and uh, there's nothing being... Uh, talked about as this voyage is moving nothing being uh honored being kept in this boat could sink there's something about this as you move swiftly uh these people needing to communicate uh, in this uh movement forward right if the communication doesn't happen and is silent well anything could happen through silence if no one talks right so uh that's what i have for pisces moving forward let's uh, go on to aries and see what wants to be brought up for our aries individuals <clears throat> I can just get all cards in hand here. Queen of Pentacles here, uh, Aries. So this Queen of Pentacles sitting on her throne and tapping a drum with a pentacle on it as well as a pentacle behind her head. And being abundant, the ab, the rabbit talks about here, and a quietness in this abundance, Aries. And the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> this can talk about uh, what is in you, yourself, Aries, creating your abundance. Even though it's a musical in instrument, there is a quiet uh, peacefulness to the rhythm here that's happening. The rabbit uh, talks about that in the background and a very beautiful uh, going forward in a very lovely productive way for you Aries for the weekend so moving from Aries let's see what Taurus uh, card or what card wants to be talked about brought up information for our Taurus for this weekend All right, and um, so five of pentacles here, five of pentacles showing up. Howling at the moon. These animals are howling about the moon back here, howling at the sun as this person covers her eyes are covered. Her pentacles rest on the outside of her body, her money being shown to others, but being kept to herself, something like this, like others aware of what, of what uh, you have, these abilities that you have with eyes being shielded. You are so afraid to uh, show, to really uh, get out there and do the howling, doing the movement that needs to be done to let your light shine. Something about that uh, being very restricting of yourself, Taurus. Come on, get out there and let your light shine. Taurus individual, quit hiding in the dark. Gemini, let's uh, see what uh, wants to be spoken for those Geminis for the weekend. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles showing up here with a bear showing up a slow movement of force and very much this time of year the bear in the northern environment slowing down but the skies say there's good fortune coming as uh the bear is saying i may be slow and i may be uh walking especially this time of year uh ultra slow if I'm walking at all it's happening there is beauty in progress and abundance that are coming to you it's written written in the stars you just have to believe and uh, 
awaken to that abundance, something like that over the weekend for our Geminis. Let's now move to Cancer and uh, see what the cards want to talk about for Cancers for this weekend. The lovers showing up here, Cancer. The lovers. These two lovers entangled away from the rest of society off uh, having their fill where nobody else can see them or so they think. But look at what's back here is a deer. A deer of saying caution, caution. And also the horns on this head of one of the lovers could also represent a deer. So there's something about, oh, dearness and the sweetness of it, but the caution that must come in this love. And uh, maybe there's some sort of choice or something that has to happen here as the twisting of the trees can talk about entanglement. And so there could be more entanglement than uh, what's totally represented here. And maybe that's what the caution is. Okay, Cancer. So that's what I have for you. Let's see what Leo uh, what wants to be uh, brought up for you for this weekend. Leo. King of Swords showing up for Leo, King of Swords, finally getting down to the truth, finally learning uh, the what's really going to happen to move forward in some sort of procedure. This knife can talk about new understanding in knowledge like surgeries or uh, new techno technological equipment. And he has shoes on his feet talking about that he, getting up out of this chair and moving forward with this information that this king has and uh, you maybe learning of what's going to happen in this situation because of truth and uh, expert knowledge and maybe newness of some sort in the situation, maybe newness through technology. All right, uh, moving now to our Virgos. Let me uh, get the cards and see what wants to come out for the Virgos. Nine of Swords, Virgo. Nine of Swords. So, Virgo, oh, why are you try, trying uh, uh, over, over these things, crying over these things, uh, holding these things so uh, within you and uh, as people give you information, as you learn information or you can't, you can't just keep it all inside. You gotta allow for uh, what you know to flow through and out if you keep it all in you. Uh, it, it, it makes for headaches, it makes for insomnia. And so uh, I've been having this for you lately, and I don't know why, Gemini, but uh, you need to say, go away, leave me alone so I can rest over the weekend. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. I'm gonna move on now to our Libras and see what uh, the cards want to talk about for Libra. Oh, I'm not gonna, there's lots. I'm gonna see if I can get one to flip over. Just gonna ignore that big pile that plotted itself down there. Probably too much information. I don't have enough time for that. <laughs> I'd have to do a simple a Libra reading by itself. It does say you are looking to make decisions, two of swords here. Libra, two of swords, and uh, having your back turned to all of us as you make this decision, looking down your road, and it appears that you, even though you look down your road, you're trying not to see it, trying to be hold a blindfold there as you try and peer down either side to make this decision, and you're not 
not uh, proceeding forward any time soon you have a cape that's not protecting you much so there's something the reason you're holding your back to us is some sort of nudity some way of not wanting to be exposed so uh, trying to choose the path of le least exposure or something like that being talked about for you libra all right let's go ahead and move on to the last sign for this weekend all right, Scorpio, let's get the cards out here and see which card wants to show up for you for this weekend. Oi, Magawi, what's this? A prickly pear? My Scorpios. And this is like there's uh, too much information going on. So much information that it weighs you down. And other people's involvement with all of this information can is just overwhelming. The good thing is, is you aren't going to have to keep this information to yourself. And this is the end of this situation and what how it's been handled something like this being talked about for our scorpios all right everybody that's what i have for you my name is tara if you did like or enjoy any part of this uh today please uh like uh, this video share this video subscribe to my channel or leave me a message uh, uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.